Hey channel, welcome bo 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 Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to you there, madam or sir, madam or missy, whatever the case shall be. This video is rated E, so we don't need no PSA for the day. I'm going to do something a little bit differently. It's going to be kind of ham radio, kind of not. We're going to get into FRS and GMRS and MURS radios a little bit. I don't have an MURS, but we'll get into that. All right, I bought these on Sleazebay, a.k.a. eBay. All right, this is a Motorola. Talk about 200R. Uh, they say 20 miles. Note, there's a lot of ways to get the variances. Okay, 20 miles. Channel 12 through 22. You'll be in the GMRS portion of the radio, which you'll be able to do two watts. Open areas. Areas without buildings, this and that. Uh, open water. You possibly, I would think, the most you can get out of these is 10 miles that way. But, you know, you're not going to be able to talk 20 miles with this thing. I'd say about 2-3 miles tops. A little thing. Now, these are dual power. What do you mean by dual power there, Joe? Dual power. It means the rechargeable batteries that it comes with or alkaline batteries. The rechargeable batteries that it comes with that you charge up, you can get about 12, 13 hours out of that. The alkaline batteries. You can get up to about 20, sometimes 30 hours, depending on the unit. Do not store these with the alkaline batteries in them. Having said that, there's a reason for that. Oh, you forget about you had the alkaline batteries in them. Well, then they get the corrosion and all that over it, right? Guess where all that, that battery leaks into? All over your transformers, all over your caps and everything else, you've got to throw it away. You're going to store these for any length of time. Do it with the rechargeable batteries. They don't leak. I got these because of during Hurricane Irma. I'm the only ham radio operator for a little while here. For probably about a good mile or so. Well, neighbors, none of them have ham radio licenses. Well, you know, this right here. Now, people say, oh, you can you can get on the FRS and the uh, GRMS frequencies with one of these, you know, the Bofangs and the Bitec. I say nay, nay. I looked over part 95. This violates part 95, okay? A couple of reasons. FRS radio service. Family radio service. Max output half a watt. And the GMRS radio service. Max output two watts. The radio cannot have a detachable antenna. Neither do none of my radios have that. And then there's some other stuff. But these are not typed acceptable. But during an emergency, let's get into what requires an emergency. Okay. Emergency. Harm of life. Harm of property, civil unrest. Not that I stub my toe. Okay. During an emergency, you can use any way to communicate. 
whether you're licensed or not. But that's only during an extreme emergency. I happen to have a ham radio license. Oh, we'll get into the Motorola T631, which basically it's the same thing as a 600. She floats! Yes, she floats. Uh, yeah, you see my bag of candy. I'm still eating a bunch of the candy from Trick or Treat. But I had no Trick or Treaters! All right, enough of that. You know, during an emergency, use any way you can communicate to get a hold of somebody. You don't have to have a license during an actual emergency. But, but, that's all I'm going to say about that. I heard a prepper. Oh, I, I did not thumb him down. I did not say anything, but I busted out laughing. Mars Mines Military Universal Radio Service. Uh, let's try Multi Radio Service. Universal Radio Service. Uh, if you got a ham radio license, you're not allowed to even listen to MERS. Really? I looked over Part 95. I did not see that there, buddy. Like I said, I said nothing to him. Uh, you, if you got a ham radio license, you're not allowed to listen to any, any FRS, anything else. That's for us preppers only. It's called family radio service for a reason. You know, that's all I got to say. Uh, no. You know, he's misinforming his uh, YouTube subscribers by saying that. I have a ham radio license. I have an extra class, to be exact. I can talk on the FRS. I don't need a license. You don't need a license. Now, the, the, the GMS, GMRS, and the... Um, M-U-R-S that you need a license for. I'm not paying that for it. Sorry. You know, just for a few channels, I don't think so. But these little 22 channel radios like this one and this one, they go into the GRMS portion that shares FRS. So you don't need a license if you have these. There's like five channels on uh, GMRS, I believe it is, that you need a license for. But these, you're not going to get in trouble. Motorola has a system. I think they have a 30 channels or so, the Motorola system. You don't need them on them either. But on these, you're, you can only use 2 watt max, you know, on to the high, on to channel 12 to, through 22. So that's 11 channels. You count channel 12 on up. All right, let's get on with the um, Motorola T631. As I said earlier, she floats. Yes, she floats. Now, it has an amber light on it. It has a clear light. All right, and she floats. As I said earlier, I only see you doing, these are supposed to do 35 miles. Maybe on open water, higher terrain, you know, and this and that. You know, you're not going to do 35 miles with these. About three miles in the city. You know, these would probably be good for hunting and such. Now, this one here's got that annoying Roger beep on it. So, hiding me. Hello. That. That. That is annoying. And like I said, the Bofong or the Bitec I have on as well. Let's turn that one off. Let's see how this one sounds. 
at all. Yeah, we don't have that. No Roger beep on that one. Let's turn this up a little bit. Let's go for it again. Test, test the one, two, three. Hello. See, no annoying Roger beep. These were a pain in the, you know what, I have, I have, uh, what, four of these. These were a pain in the, you know what, to get that Roger beep off. I had to watch a couple videos and read the owner's manual a little bit better. These, easy squeezy. They were so easy to get the Roger beep off. But these have a lot more options. This one also has the NOAA radio on it. Like I said, she floats. Uh, if you drop it in the water, you drop it in the water and boom, the flashlight will turn on and she'll float. It is waterproof to a certain extent. Uh, but after you get it wet, I would let it dry. If I were you, after you get it wet, let her dry out a little bit because I hear it sounds like real muffled. I've learned with the Yezu VX7R, just because it says it, it's waterproof, not really. You can't go uh, swimming with it, okay? I've learned, with, I've learned a very expensive lesson on that one. But... These are not type acceptable for FRS or GMRS. You know, you'll do a lot more than what Part 95 uh, says you can do. No matter what a prepper video tells you, look up part FCC, Part 95, if you live here in the United States. But it's a way to, you know, you got a friend a block away or so. There you go. There you go. You know, you got a, you know, a couple blocks away. But I'm going to use these. For, um, I've got these away for emergencies, and I'm going to store them with the NICAD batteries. Like I said earlier, uh, it's not a very good idea to store these with alkaline. You'll rot them out. And these right here weren't that expensive. I got this for a really good deal on eBay. Really good deal. Uh, the 600 and the 605s are going for right around 100 or 115. Oh, I got it for a lot less than that. These come with a nice little case. A little nice little case with webbing in it and stuff. I like it. It has the USB ch charger. It's kind of like a phone charger. I do like that. It's got high power. A lot of things in the menu to go through, which is pretty cool. But these are FRS radios. You don't need a license for these. You know, just pretty much uh, keep it civil because there are people listening. You don't want to get Uncle Charlie angry, as we used to call him back in the day on CB. You know, the FCC. They make... They'll, they'll get money out of you if you owe them a fine. Trust me. They make the IRS look like pussycats, okay? The IRS ain't got nothing on the FCC if they want to get money out of you. Trust me on that one. You know. Uh, but these are nice little radios, these FRS radios. Good for fishing trips, hunting trips. Uh, if you do those fishing or hunting trips, or or at least the hunting trips, take turn that Roger beef off. You might scare the deer, okay, and everything else. Uh, like I said, th these little um, T six hundreds series come packed with a lot of features. Uh, it's got an emergency thing. Let's. All right, I'm going to scare you. There you go. There's a 
panic button. And then the light flashes red. And somehow it's... It, it turns the Vox on. Yeah, that's another thing this has. Voice activated. But yeah, that's another thing. This has Vox. This does not. Victor Oscar X-Ray Vox. Means you could just start talking and it'll start transmitting. I have that turned off. Yeah, it's all right. It's got a little, little backlight on it, which is pretty cool. But as of the two, I like the... Uh, T631 better than the 200R. But the 200R is a lot lighter. So don't listen to some of these prepper YouTubers that will tell you you can talk anywhere you want. You know, go argue with the ham radio operators. That's, that's a no-no. That'll get you into a lot of trouble. Look it up yourself. Look up Part 95. FCC Part 95, and it'll break down what everything is. You know, nobody uses ham radios no more. That's a myth. And everything else. So, there you go. There's my video for the day. Long enough, I think. What do you think? And like I said, I'm still working on my Halloween candy. I've already eaten one bag since Halloween. And nobody to help me. Oh, Fubo. All right, there you go. So with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you for watching. You like it? Give her a like, up, please. Let's see how high we can get them likes to go there. Adults and kitties, the troll would love it. Feel free to leave a mature rated G comment there, Madam Sir. Want to see more of the videos like this or others that are in a ch 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 channel? Don't be shy and please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Eventually, here. Tally flipping.